welcome back to my channel. My name is Darian, and today I'm going to be talking about the most beautiful books that I own. So I have... <laughs> I have a lot of books to talk about. As you can see from behind me, there's a lot of books missing from my shelves because I love buying beautiful books. Like, if I see a cover that's beautiful, chances are I'm gonna want it before I even read what it's about. So, <laughs> I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but I tend to do that a lot. So, I'm just gonna go through all of these kind of quickly and I'm not gonna really go into the synopsis of each book because then we would be here for a very long time. So we're just gonna focus on the covers of these books and why they're stunning. So let's just get started because like I said, there's a lot of books to talk about here. So let's go. So the first book is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. This cover, I just love so much how you see the backgrounds of both characters. So one of the characters lives in New York so you can see that behind her and the other one lives in the Dominican Republic and what's really beautiful about this book is under the dust jacket like look how stunning that is so obviously this is the Dominican Republic and New York and I just think that's so beautiful I love when naked hardcovers have a design on them like and it's not just like blue <laughs> you know I just oh it's so beautiful next is another Elizabeth Acevedo book she really knows what she's doing with her covers but that is with the fire on high by Elizabeth Acevedo like this is one of the most stunning covers I've ever seen look at the details on this look at the fruit I just want to eat them <laughs> like you know when there's like drawings of food and you just want to eat them but also under the dust jacket look at that look at that it's so stunning like I could just look at this all day like whoever decided to do this they should get a medal I think they should get a raise so stunning so beautiful I could look at it all day the colors it's just amazing I love it so much okay next we have what might be my favorite cover of all time like this book is just stunning I remember when I first got this book there was like a few videos in a row where I just talked about how beautiful this cover is but that is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. Like it's just I find that seeing it on camera does not do it justice like looking at it in person. I just love how the font is kind of like it looks like LED almost and it's just the design it's just <laughs> I love like the two moons up here. I love the detail of the trees and all the like there's a little necklace up here. There's like music notes. It's just so beautiful. I didn't end up loving this book but this cover is probably going to remain one of my favorite covers of all time. I just find it so stunning. It's so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Next we have an iconic one and that is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Mass. Just the, again, the detail on this, the red is so striking. I love it so much. I really hope that the cover for the second one is blue and it's similar to this. That would be so stunning. I know I've seen versions of this where like there's sprayed edges and it looks like this but like on the edges. And if I had that edition, that would be great, but I mean, she's an expensive boy because <laughs> she's chunky, so I only need one, but it's just so beautiful. I love looking at this, and I remember like when this book came out, I was like, I definitely need a physical copy of this book because I really want it on my shelves, and I have no regrets. So there you go. Next we have another iconic one, and that is Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I find orange is such an underrated color. Like, I feel like a lot of people really don't like orange. But I love orange. <laughs> I'm all of a sudden I'm remembering having this discussion in a video before. This might be a controversial opinion, but I find orange is a really underrated color. Like for some reason everyone hates orange. But like look at this. Don't you feel happy just looking at this? I just think it's such an underused color. Like and the way that it's like the main color on this book, like how many books can you think of where the cover is mostly orange? Hmm? I can't name many so I love this I love the dragon the detail again the detail is so beautiful the detail on the dragon is like raised I don't know what the proper word for that is but like you can feel the texture you know so beautiful the font is iconic and like also the back too with the dragon another dragon <laughs> I love it so much 
it just makes me like just holding this kind of just makes me feel good about myself like I'm like yeah I read beautiful books like this what about it <laughs> I don't know I don't know it just makes me happy <laughs> okay next is actually a book that I've gotten really recently I bought this from my work after I found out that I get a 40% discount a 40% discount I work at a bookstore by the way 40% so I bought this book right away because I had been eyeing it for a long time ever since I started there and I knew that if I ever owned this book I really wanted this edition but that is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. This is the Clockbound edition, Clockbound Penguin Classics edition I think. It's just and it just feels so good. <laughs> I know you can't feel it through the screen but if you can get this edition or if you just see it in a store like just feel it and it feels great and I love the black it's so beautiful and the spine too I think it's so beautiful like she's just stunning she's just truly stunning and I can't wait to read it and again I feel like holding this just makes me feel good about myself <laughs> I don't know but I can't wait to read this and I just uh, I really want more books in these editions because they're just so beautiful but this is I think this is my favorite one of all the books like in this these editions I think this is my favorite and I love it so much this next book, I don't think the book is actually supposed to be very good, but the cover is beautiful and that is Five Feet Apart by, who wrote this? Rachel Lippincott with Mickey Daughtry and Tobias Yaconis. I hope I'm saying that right. But yeah, I've heard a lot of not great things about this book, but the cover, like I love how it's like lungs, but they're flat words. <laughs> I just really love that. I love how shiny the font is. It's just stunning. And another book written by these authors is All This Time, which is another stunning cover. I have read that book. It's very bad. <laughs> but these covers are stunning though. So at least there's that. <laughs> Next we have one of my favorite books of 2020. I'm obsessed with this book so much and I'm also obsessed with the cover and that is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. I mean the blue with the red. <sighs> It's just stunning and we have this stunning beautiful girl on the cover and oh my god and I just love like I don't know how well you can tell but I just love how there's just like accents of the colors just like popping out. Does that make any sense? Can you tell that? I don't know if you can tell that but it's just it's just so beautiful. <laughs> I remember like when I ordered this book and I received it and opening the package and I literally just kind of gasped because like obviously you can tell this cover is beautiful when you just look at it online but like seeing it in person for the first time I was just like oh my god <laughs> it's so beautiful and I'm so happy I own this and also this book is great if you haven't read it yet it's one of my favorite books of last year one of my favorite books of all time honestly so good we need the second book now and I hope the cover is just as beautiful I bet it is Okay. <laughs> okay, next I have two middle grade books that I want to talk about together because I love middle grade book covers, but I mostly love the UK covers. And I believe these are UK covers unless they're the same as the US, but I got them from Book Depository because I wanted to make sure that I got these covers. So I have A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison and I have Bright Storm by Vashti Hardy. Like, let's just take a look. Look at the coloring, the details, the art style. I love them so much. There's just something about middle grade covers that just make me feel so happy and I'm like oh I just want to read that and feel happy and safe and that's what I feel when I look at these books. Like don't you find? I don't know. They're just so beautiful <laughs> and I can't wait to read these and just like stare at the covers forever. So yeah. <laughs> Next I have the Tea Dragon Society books. So I have so I have the Tea Dragon Society and I have the Tea Dragon Festival and not only are these covers beautiful but the art in these books these are graphic novels and just the art in these books are stunning like oh my god like look at these colors can you see look at these colors they're just so beautiful oh my god I love them so much I also have my very own tea dragon now this is chamomile and again if you haven't read these yet I highly recommend them they're just so beautiful and so wholesome and cute and ugh, I love these books so much and they're just so beautiful and I just want to read everything that Kay O'Neill writes and illustrates and <laughs> yeah okay next I have A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Rosanne Brown and not only is this cover beautiful I also got the fairy loot special edition of this book which means it has these beautiful 
these beautiful green sprayed edges like oh my god sometimes I just look at these and I'm just like <laughs> wow like these are just so beautiful I'm so glad I got this special edition I love a good sprayed edge like <laughs> You can never go wrong. I, I I think they're just so beautiful and then I love them so much and I love like facing it out on my shelves and just seeing these beautiful edges. So beautiful. I love it. And also like, hello, this cover, the green. We love green in this house and this girl, she just looks amazing. If she stepped on me, I'd say thank you. So there you go. Next we have another one of my favorite books of all time and that is Where Dreams Descend by Janelle Angelis. I mean, look at the detail of this cover. She is the moment, honestly. Like, the red, I don't know why I'm showing the edges. Like, I love the font also. Look at this font. I find it such a different font. Like, I find often on book covers you kind of see the same fonts over and over again. But this is such a different font. And, oh, there's Calia on top of the chandelier. It's just so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I love this book so much and I love this cover so much. So beautiful. Okay, next, this is not in the right order, but I have the Fairy Loot Special Editions of the Ember in the Ashes series. So we have, this is gonna be backwards, but we have A Sky Beyond a Storm. Look at that. Purple. Beautiful. We have A Reaper at the Gates. Green. Beautiful. Love it. A Torch Against the Night. Blue. Stunning. <laughs> And of course, an ember in the ashes, yellow. I mean, the sprayed edges are yellow. The cover is mostly like brownish yellow, I guess. A uh, burnt sienna, if you will, but beautiful. These spread edges are, again, next level. But I remember seeing them online and worrying that they wouldn't look as cool in person, but they look even better. I almost forgot. They all have like this design on the cover. I'll just show this one, but. Look how beautiful. This one, the uh, Sky Beyond the Storm is definitely my favorite because I love purple. Ugh. So pretty. <laughs> Next, we obviously have Strange to Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares. I mean, these are my favorite books of all time. I love them so much. And like, like what gets better than this, honestly? Tell me what. The only thing that could be better than this is the hardcover edition with the sprayed edges. But this is pretty damn close, honestly. This moth, beautiful. I'm gonna get it tattooed one day. No one can stop me. And then Muse of Nightmares. Stunning. We love it. Yes. <laughs> and finally, while we're on the topic of Lainey Taylor, I have the Illumicrate Special Editions of the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series with these beautiful sprayed edges. So I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone beautiful. We have Days of Blood and Starlight with this beautiful red. Oh my god. So beautiful. And Dreams of Gods and Monsters with this like orange. Beautiful. And also each of these also has like a quote on the naked hardback and they all have art. <laughs> they all have art. Can you see that? Under the dust jacket. That was actually done by Lainey Taylor's husband, G Jim DiBartolo. Stunning. <laughs> like, does it get better than that? I do not think so. So those are the most beautiful books I own. I do own a lot more books that I just love the covers for, but again, I feel like if I just talked about all the books that I find beautiful, we would be here all day. So I think these are like the creme de la creme, you know? So. I hope you guys like that. I hope you guys enjoy looking at beautiful books <laughs> as much as you do, as much as I do, I mean. Let me know what is the most beautiful book you own. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Bye!